Vincent, I haven't seen you since... Nibai's going inside. Now with your reputation for depravity and general aversion to the law, in all seriousness, your countenance is quite discernible, and there are certain of my consociates who would take it upon themselves to exercise their right to lethal force were they to encounter you in person. But it's good to cross paths with you again, my friend. After head of security at the Diamond, this isn't exactly what I had in mind, but it's still a long way from a mall cop, right? Let's take a walk. Relax. I'm a cop, but I'm not a cop. This is just where the universe put me right now. I mean, I have my path and you have yours. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn about your antics out there. In fact, we may be able to assist each other. I mean, check this out. You see that misguided individual? How do you think he's gotten away with selling drugs in front of that burger shop very conspicuously for 10 years now? In front of the largest department in the city. He cuts them in. Effenberger, you copy? Yo, Effenberger. I copy. Worst last name ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, Effen what? <laughs> anyway, when you got five, we all need some Effen coffee down here on Dix. And don't forget the Effen cream and sugar. Copy that. All oh, these motherfuckers. Huh? I'm out here getting coffee for cops on the take. And that guy over there is only a modicum of the issue. There's a new cartel running a large-scale cocaine operation out of the Cluck and Bell factory in Polito Bay. And being no doubt, the cops, they're not only turning a blind eye, they're actively facilitating. If you ask me, the cartel and the cops can both go to hell, preferably on the back of the same bullet. I'm talking about a surgical strike, man. Taking out the whole operation. That's why I came to you. Let's go somewhere a bit more unfrequented. I understand your motivation in these matters. If you raid that factory, anything you find is yours to keep. But this isn't about the drugs for me. This is about these assholes running the biggest protection racket in the state. That's the kind of status quo I cannot abide. As far as my part, I can provide all the intel you need. Records, names, locations. We will need to educate ourselves on the factory, though. Gather materials so you can attack it with style and aptitude. Ding fucking dong, Officer Effenberger. We're effing falling asleep over here. Get us some effing coffee. Copy that. I'm on my way. Think about it. If anybody deserves to be fucked with, it's these guys. Can I count you in? Excellent. Now on to the first order of business. Acquire some funds. And fortuitously, we have files on some money laundering operations not far from here. The department allows them to operate for a share of the profits. I suggest we take a more proactive stance. <laughs> Time to do what you do. I'll call you. Let me take these fucking assholes their coffee.
attacking them back, as they say. way into this place. The cartel are paying off employees a cluck and bell to you. Okay, sending some coordinates your way. I have a checklist for today's operation. Number one, a laptop from a cluck and bell employee.
So, we have some important yet enjoyable decisions to make. On the one hand, you need to acquire your preferred weapons and gear. On the other, you need to acquire your getaway vehicle. We'll need to steal both. These can't be traced back to us. Where would you like to start?
car secured. Well done. Now clear the area. We'll be in touch. Hey, so I understand that your M.O. is up to you? But there are steps you can take to ensure the element of surprise is on your side. Introducing a little chaos into the cartel supply line is one of them. If you do, they'll assume your arrival on the train is just an unscheduled delivery. And if nothing else, the looks on their faces will be highly amusing. It's my pleasure to inform you that we have officially completed all necessary preparations to move forward with the Clucking Bell operation at your earliest convenience. Let's make this happen. It all culminates here, my friend. I've been on the radios, and after deciphering some mediocre code words, it sounds like they're expecting a robbery. I suggest you elevate the fuck their shit up regardless. I'm sure it's hard not to focus on the guys trying to kill you, but remember we're here for the operation, not the people. Acquire the cocaine, clear the safe, and get the hell out. If you want to refresh your arsenal, don't forget the extra equipment you require. I've arranged for it to be left in the dumpster to the rear of the factory.
contents of the safe too. to the vital matter of payment. As I'm sure you can appreciate, there are certain transactions I can't be party to as an officer of the law. But if I've learned anything from my consociates on the LSPD, it's how to look the other way. <sighs> now remember, as far as I'm concerned, you can hit that factory as often as you'd like. As long as you're giving me reasons to keep looking the other way, I'm happy. As you can see from my choice of transportation, my fortunes at the LSPD are also improving. Just got these babies in. 
fresh off the line. <laughs> Guess who picked one up? Until next time, well, let's disassociate. Compensation is in your account. And of course, to congratulate you again on a successful operation. Listen, Our efforts I to derail the Cluck and Bell cartel's efforts were indeed effective, but it won't be long You're before right. they and their corrupt counterparts in the LSPD rebuild their little enterprise. Each and every time we knock them back down, I'll ensure it's worth your while. Effenberger out.